Hey everyone, so today I will be telling you about fuses and circuit breakers, what they do and how you pick the right fuse. So a fuse, actually let me show you the picture straight away, that's the fuse. Oh, didn't want to show everything yet, but uh, there we go. So that's the fuse. Remember last video when I told you about the cables in the plugs, I said you have the earth wire, the neutral wire, the live wire, I told you the names, the functions, everything they do, and then I said it's really important that the fuse is near the live wire. Now, what a fuse is, is a safety device that has a thin wire that melts if the current is too high. So this breaks the circuit and protects the cable and the appliance from overheating and catching fire, okay? And this is how the fuse looks like. So you have this tiny component in here, uh, and then these bits are metal. Inside there, you have a glass, and inside the glass, this is the actual wire that melts and breaks. Around the fuse, you have this cover, kind of, I don't know if it's plastic or paper. I think it's actually kind of paper. Uh, and it tells you the amps of each fuse, because according to the appliance, you're going to have different fuses. So all plugs, not just the UK, but all plugs are fitted with fuses and fuses are available in a range of amperes to suit the different current values. This particular picture, I took it from Boardwork, so it's not mine, okay? So which fuse do you pick? Now, I actually wanted to show this later, but anyway, the way that you do is, think about it, your fuse melts and breaks at the actual fuse that you can that you have there so you can choose between two three five ten and thirteen amps fuses okay and these numbers are the numbers to where the wire is going to melt and break so what is going to happen is if you use uh, an appliance and the appliance um, current is let's say one amp I can definitely use the 2 amp fuse because when the appliance is at 1 amp then uh, everything is fine if the appliance current increases because there is a fault in the appliance and becomes 2 amps then the fuse is going to melt and break making that no current can pass through the circuit because now you get a gap in the circuit so stops the appliance from overheating and catching fire so you could go on 2 amps However, you could also say, well, I can go to 2, 3, 5, 10, and, or 13. The problem is, if you go to the maximum possible amperage in your fuse, and you have a very low current in your appliance, then it means that by the time that the fuse melts and breaks, it could be too late for your appliance. So for you to pick the fuse, you should choose the fuse that is immediately above the current that is passing through the appliance. So we, here we have an exercise. I put here the current that it, of an appliance and the fuse that we pick. So three amps. Cannot pick two amps because as soon as I turn it on, the, the fuse is going to melt and break. Three amps. Again, the fuse is going to melt and break as soon as I turn my appliance on. So what is the immediately above is five. So the fuse is five amps. Eight amps. Then again, I need to go immediately above. So 10 amps. One amp the fuse needs to be 2 amps. 10 amps for the current of the appliance, fuse should be 13 amps. 2 amps for my appliance, a fuse of 3 amps. 4 amps for my appliance, a fuse of 5 amps. And 5 amps for my appliance, a fuse of 10 amps, okay? So again, you don't pick the fuse that has exactly the same current of the appliance because otherwise it's going to melt and break. Obviously, the fuse as soon as the appliance is on. Obviously the fuse cannot have um, a, a, a current where the wire melts and breaks if it's below uh, the appliance current because again as soon as you turn the appliance you melt it breaks. However you don't go to the a fuse that is not immediately above but you don't go to a fuse that is much higher above like 13 amps for any sing every single appliance because it may be too late by the time the fuse melts and breaks and your appliance could be already catching fire okay now something else that you have in your homes is circuit breakers and this particular most of this slide is from boardworks i think i also took the writing from them so circuit breakers now, you have these fuse boxes, and they are safety devices uh, between the sockets in the home and the main supplies from the street. And this is how they look like. You have many of them, them, and then you can switch this on or off, okay? So you can switch this switch lever and uh, have them on or off. 
So some fuse boxes contain these things called residual current circuit breakers, RCCBs, and they detect the difference in the current between the live wire and the neutral wire. You know that the neutral wire should be at zero volts, so if then the neutral wire stops being at zero volts, or if the difference is not the 230 that you should have, then an electromagnet is going to break the circuit if the current difference becomes too large. So they know exactly what would be the current difference in between the two wires. If it becomes too large, if the voltages are not exactly the same values as they should, it is automatically breaking the circuit, okay? So that's why they are called br circuit breakers, okay? Now, how this electromagnetic uh, electromagnet uh, works, you're going to learn later on in other videos, okay? Now, the RCCBs, so the residual current circuit breakers, they detect the current surges much quicker than a fuse, so they act faster, okay? However, they do have their downsides as well. So, this per particular slide again from BoardWorks, so a lot of this lesson, I had stuff from BoardWorks. Do these statements apply to fuses or circuit breakers? Need a nerd wire, so that's definitely something that is on a plug, so it's a fuse. Is fast acting? Well, the circuit breaker uses an electromagnet, which is quite fast, and oopsie, here we go. And the fuses use a wire that you need to wait until it heats up, melts and breaks. So it's circuit breaker. Use an electromagnet. That's how the circuit breaker works and becomes fast acting. Can only be used once. Well, once I use my fuse, the wire is melted and broken, right? So it, uh, the wire melted and broke. So obviously I need to buy a new fuse. Can be reset and reuse. That's the circuit breaker. I can turn them on and off. Now the good thing about fuses is they are cheap to buy. So you can only use it once and then you need to replace it. But they are cheaper than the circuit breakers, okay? So that is it for today in terms of fuses and circuit breakers. Um, up to my next video. Be happy and healthy. Bye.